If you've already watched this video here, you'll remember that Microsoft is ending support for Windows 10 in October 2025. We've heard a load of questions off the back of this about why you might want to move to Windows 11. So let's get them answered today. Titles! So today I've got Sam behind the camera and she's actually going to be asking all of our questions. So Sam, what's question one? So first up, I prefer how Windows 10 looks. Can I change Windows 11 to match? Yeah, kind of. Um, so Windows 11 was designed to be really a more modernized look and feel to Windows 10. So there's improved animations, icons, interactions, all of those good stuff, but it does still feel very similar, such as having things like the start menu and search. However, there was a big change that by default, your start menu is now right in the center. If it's not your preference though, and you do want more of that Windows 10 feel, then all you need to do is right click on your taskbar, hit taskbar settings, and then change the taskbar alignment back over to the left. Perfect. So up next, why do I need TPM 2.0 to be able to upgrade? If you just want the short answer, it makes your PC more secure. The longer version of the answer though and why is, yes, Windows security was already great on Windows 10, but Windows 11 is more secure straight out of the box. And that is down to major improvements like with TPM 2.0. It's a system requirement for Windows 11, and it was a little bit of a controversial topic when it was first released. But the big reason behind this requirement is to keep your PC, your data, and all your identity safe because it enables really great security features like Windows Hello and BitLocker. I currently game on Windows 10. Am I going to lose performance by moving to Windows 11? Um, well, that kind of depends what your setup exactly is, but generally there are more benefits currently to gaming on Windows 11 than sticking with Windows 10. So some features, for example, like direct storage, which you might already be using, that decreases load times and increases frame rates. But that's got an improved memory stack in Windows 11, which means the speeds you get will never be matched in Windows 10. Windows 11's also got cool features like game mode, which prioritizes your PC performance specifically for gaming, or auto HDR, which means that your games automatically look better. Also, if you didn't move over at the start of Windows 11 because performance stats with select AMD Ryzen processors, then you'll be glad to know that in 2024, Windows 11 received an update which actually increased the performance for those processors. So I've stuck with Windows 10 because I know it and it's really easy for me to use. Is Windows 11 going to be too difficult for me to pick up? No, not at all. In fact, there are loads of ways that Windows has actually got easier to use in Windows 11. For example, right, we'll start with the thing that's right in the middle, the start menu. It's been a staple of the Windows experience since really Windows 95. So going back a fair few years now, um, the Windows 10 start menu was good and it had a design that combined the lovely tile experience of Windows 8 and had easy to navigate apps. But Windows 11 is actually even easier to navigate because you can pin your apps and see your recently opened files, so things are just easier to find. You've also got File Explorer, where you can go and find all of your files. Now, before, if I wanted to say copy and paste between different locations, I would either have to open up a new window for File Explorer, or I would have to keep going back and forth. Well, now I've just got a tab experience, so I can press this plus icon up at the top and then open up a new tab and easily navigate just in one window. And then the last feature I always have to mention has got to be Snap Layouts. So Snap Layouts is a must if you are working on a single screen because it allows you to work in multiple windows at once. All you need to do to use Snap Layouts is either click and drag your window to the top of the screen and choose your layout, or hover over maximize, choose your layout from there, or if you're a fan of a good hotkey, then Windows plus Z, and then choose that layout to snap to. Great thing as well is if you are using it docked and you choose to undock and then redock later on, it means it will remember your snap layout exactly where you had it. 
how eco-friendly is it actually going to be upgrading to a new device if I'm just going to be throwing out my old PC? So I'm a little bit of an eco-warrior, so I love answering any sort of sustainability questions. Now, many Windows devices are getting more sustainable than ever, thanks to brands utilizing recycled materials more and more. If you are purchasing a new PC though, and you're worried about what's gonna to happen to your old PC, then you can look into actually recycling your old PC because loads of retailers actually have trading programs, including Microsoft themselves. It's also easier than ever to be energy efficient with your new Windows 11 device because you can actually go into energy efficient savings, meaning you have less impact on the environment when using the device. Just head into the settings app and then battery settings and you'll see all of these convenient energy saving recommendations in one easy place. What about all those AI features that are pre-installed? I'm not a fan of AI and I don't want to use it. And that's fine. I am a fan of AI and so I do love using Copilot and Copilot Plus PC features like Co-Creator. But if you're not, then you don't have to use them. If you're not actively using something like Copilot on your Windows PC, then you're not using AI and those AI features. Also, a lot of the newer AI features you might be thinking of, like Recall and Co-Creator, are only available or will only be available on Copilot Plus PCs, which not every Windows 11 PC is. However, if you're on the fence about AI, then I'd really recommend just learning a little bit more about it, as I find it can be a huge, huge time saver. Luckily though, We've already created loads of videos about how Copilot can help you in your life. So why not check out one of them right here? So my next question is just how easy is it to switch from Windows 10 to Windows 11? Honestly, super easy. And that's thanks to Windows Backup. We've actually mentioned exactly how easy it is though to back up and set up right in, you guessed it, another video right here. So I'm going to take the easy way out again and say, go watch that. So for my final question, I have a disability and I know Windows 10 works and can help me, but what about Windows 11? So I agree, Windows 10 was great for accessibility features, but so is Windows 11. And actually it's taken it to the next level because now it's even easier to access those accessibility features. For example, if you want a full menu of options, then you can head into the settings app or click Windows plus U. But if you just want to quickly toggle on and off features like magnifier, colour filters or live captions, then just head to quick settings by either clicking on the battery and Wi-Fi icon down in the bottom right or the hotkey Windows plus A, then hit accessibility and there you have them. That all the questions, Sam? That's everything from me. All right then. Well, I clearly enjoyed answering your questions today and this was a pretty fun new video to do. But if you have a burning question and it wasn't answered in this video, then make sure to comment it down below. And if you liked this new style of video and want to see more of them, then please tell us by giving us a like and maybe even a cheeky little subscribe while you're at it too. That's it though from me and Sam though today. So bye for now. Say bye Sam. Bye Sam.